So within the Explore environment, we have hundreds of solutions. So how do we effectively find the right ones? And if we're collaborating with other people within our team, how do we let them know the ones that we're really interested in? This is where tagging and filtering comes into play. Tagging allows you to actually put a note on one of the iterations to someone else in your team or maybe you later on to figure out what, what you'd like to see. And then filtering allows you to set those criteria, kind of like what we showed with cost to narrow down the solutions. So going back to this explore that we were just looking at, we have all of these solutions that we could look at. We have uh, organic, we have additive, we have all these different manufacturing types. We also have what's called visual, sim visual similarity. Within visual similarity, what it's doing is it's taking geometry outputs across multiple manufacturing types and grouping ones that look that look very similar. So you might find that you like a certain segment of these solutions, not just because maybe they look visually the same, but because they're applying a certain organic or performance value to what you're creating. So the other thing too, is if you look at one of these outcomes, so this is a two and a half axis subtractive solution, I can apply a tag to either reference a colleague later on, or to make sure that I can come back to this specific solution. So by pressing the tag at the top, I can trigger a message says, Aaron, take a look at this. Bruins are better. And we can say whatever we'd like in that space. So when someone else who's within our fusion team needs to take a look at this project, they can automatically find that tag that you've applied. 